wait wait don't say i did not warn you before you go ahead to marry a calabari man watch this video first wait though don't say i did not warn you before you make the greatest mistake of your life Good afternoon, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Jessica West 224. If you're just seeing my face for the first time, you're welcome on board. And if you're a returning subscriber, God bless you real good. I'm a new YouTuber based in Bielsa State. Now, um, before I go into this video, first I want to make a disclaimer. I uploaded a video like two, three days back. Let's say it's up to a week now back and i said a baby girl is here <laughs> and people kept on sending me congratulatory messages like <laughs> congratulations oh welcome baby princess this that 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 this <laughs> guys i did not just give me to like from the video you could all see that i was the one standing making the video holding the camera and videoing the mother of the baby She's my pretty colleague and uh, we've all been waiting and expecting this baby and the baby came and I was so excited like I was the mother. I was not. Thanks for all the congratulatory messages. <laughs> She's watching this now so she gets them. Mommy Letty, they say congratulations. Uh, she was super excited. Funny enough, before the baby came, I had a dream and I told her she gave birth to a pretty baby girl. And in the dream I was telling her, Oh, oh, but mommy, let's see that you bought this guy five picky. <laughs> and I told her in real life, and she was laughing like, I'm so naughty, I'm not serious. And I was wondering why you could see her sitting in the bed with a cannula in her hand and being attended to by the doctor. The baby was standing, making a video, carrying a baby. How on earth with the mother that just gave baby standing, carrying the baby, and allow the person who gave the visitor to lie in the bed and be with cannula in the hand? Guys. I was thinking the video was self-explanatory, like it was so obvious you could decipher who the mother was. Okay, that notwithstanding. <laughs> Thank you guys for the congratulatory message. Now back to this main video. Most persons have been like, don't marry from this tribe, marry from this tribe, don't marry from that tribe. Ah, you must marry from your tribe. Oh. Hey, don't marry from this state, don't marry from this culture. They have cultural differences, they have this, they have that. And it's true. And most persons, I see people ask Christian like, ah, please, oh, um, one Calabari man is coming to ask me out. He wants me to marry him. What's your take on Calabari people? And, um, Will you say I should go into the marriage like you're married to a Calabarian man? How is it like? I heard they have this culture. I heard they have that culture. I heard they stick to their culture so much that it can even influence your own personal lives in your home and so on. So many questions, but I think this video is right for you to know. So I was like, instead of answering it in beats, I'll do a full video of it all. Yeah. Now this is the video. What I have to say is, <laughs> there is no one size fits all kind of shoes. It doesn't exist. And there is no perfect tradition. There is no perfect tribe. There is no perfect people somewhere. Now ask yourself, you yourself watching this video, you, 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 you watching this video, are you perfect? No. Are your people perfect? No. Is your culture perfect? No. Is your tradition perfect? I wonder why people make, make uh, so much noise when it comes to this. Like, 
I won't blame some. I won't actually blame some people. They have their own reservations. They have their own experiences. They have their own reasons for choosing not to marry a particular tribe. But I feel if God is leading you to marry a particular person, just go for that person. Yes. I tell people there's an exception to every general rule, whether you like it or not. There's an exception to every general rule. Even in the Bible, people felt like every man will die. But Elijah did not see death. Enoch did not see death. So there's an exception to every general rule. Now, people will ask me, um, how is it like? My dear, it's like marrying every other human being in different culture. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. People feel like some people will say, the only thing I will hold on to is um, you having an issue marrying someone not from your religion. For current law, what does light gather the darkness? It does not exist. It cannot exist. It does not blend. It does not fit in. So if it's on that basis, then you are right. But my dear, yes, but some people say, ah, that culture, there are men used to do like this. So there are men used to do that. There are men does not stick to one wife. There are men used to marry so many people. There are men have so many concubines outside. You yourself is the question is who are you? Who are you getting married to? So people will say, ah, not an ass. They are not good though. They are this, they are that. I've seen some not an ass that are friendly, nice, calm, and good. Some people will say, ah, satanas. They are not good though. They don't stick to one woman. They are promiscuous. They are this, they are that. It has to do with the particular individual. The particular individual. Like some persons will say, ah, you job people. They don't marry one wife who they used to burn, 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 burn up and down, give birth here, give birth there. They have concubines and they have illegitimate children everywhere. And then I ask myself, uh, let me use the example closest to me. My father is an Egyptian man and he married just one wife. I'm not from a polygamous home and he does not have kids outside. Does that make him anything less than a German? It doesn't. It has to do with the person in particular so you watching this video waiting for me to tell you <laughs> that's Mary a calabari man they will do you this they will do you that they will do you this they will do you that sorry you're watching the wrong video mm -hmm. your own tribe too that people out there telling people not to marry from your tribe I feel parents should not restrict their children on a particular tribe to marry from if you say restricting them based on religion it's okay by you but if it's based on tribe i feel it doesn't just make sense to me it doesn't just make sense because nobody's perfect it has to do with a particular individual once the person is born again is a saved child of god a christian fine some people allow families to influence them and so on but once you feel god is leading you to a particular person my dear go on don't let any person's decision sway you or any person's advice sway you or restricting you from marrying the person god has for you no tribe is perfect no state is perfect no culture is perfect no tradition is perfect no group of people are perfect everybody is just we are in, a work in progress me myself i'm not perfect my father is not perfect my mother is not perfect my husband is not perfect my in-laws are not perfect we all are not perfect like like my um, former boss would say marriage is just two people who feel we can endure each other come together i hear people say i'm not supposed to endure marriage i'm supposed to enjoy marriage you still have to go into marriage with endurance. You still have to have long suffering. You still have to have patience. Whether you like it or not, that's the fruit of the spirit you must exhibit. You must have them embedded in you. If you have the Holy Spirit in you and you allow the Holy Spirit to work in you, 
to bring forth those fruits. So with this, I've come to the end of this video. Just don't have a notion that this particular tribe they are like this. Don't be stereotyped. Don't feel like this particular tribe they are like this. They do this. 50% of their people are like this. 50% of people are like that. You hear some people, even when I was to get married, some people were like, oh, Calabari. You want to marry from Calabari? How oh, those people are proud and pompous? <laughs> those people are like the name bay of your own state. Maybe people of your own state. Those people are this. Eh, me myself, I'm proud and pompous. <laughs> Just imagine you say your culture, their culture, they are proud of us. Your culture, they are proud of us. What proud, proud of pomposity people meet? <laughs> we'll blend. So nobody is perfect, that you know. Not that I'm proud of it, but I'm just priding in God. <laughs> I'm proud in the Lord. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just saying jargons. But we've got to the end of this video. Try as much as possible to like, share, subscribe, and don't let any person fool you. No tribe is perfect. <laughs> Thank you and God bless you. Bye. -bye.